It was a simple idea. Take advantage of empty cargo space on ships that had transported Honda vehicles from Japan. If Honda could fill these ships with products that would sell in Japan, the return trip would not be wasted. From this singular concept, a multi-billion dollar company was born. A company where employees are invested in their work, their communities, and each other. In 1972, Honda International Trading Corporation, or HIT, was established as the international trading arm of American Honda in Torrance, California. There were two employees, and sales that first year totaled $17,000. HIT's early efforts included products like U.S.-made golf clubs, toys, coffee makers, and refrigerators, which would be marketed to Japanese consumers through Honda's Japan Dealer Network. Only two years after HIT came into existence, the company got into the agriculture business. That shipment back soon included livestock, soybeans, compressed hay cubes, and more. In 1975, HIT began trading non-ferrous metals and exporting aluminum die-casting tools. And then in 1979, American-made automotive components like exhaust emission catalysts and seat leather started going back to Japan on ships so they could be assembled in Honda's factories overseas. Once the 80s rolled around, HIT started exporting paper products and waste paper. And on the 10th anniversary of the company, we had 12 employees with annual sales totaling $42 million. In 1987, the Marysville, Ohio office was established to support Honda of America manufacturing initiatives. The office started importing sub-assembly parts for Honda suppliers and specialty machinery and equipment for manufacturing needs. Only a couple of years later, HIT implemented the Steel Raw Material Supply System, RMSS, to support supply chain activities for Honda of America manufacturing, referred to internally as HAM. The 1990s provided major opportunities for the company in the U.S. and beyond. The Recycling Center in Ohio began operations to recycle cardboard containers and wooden pallets generated by HAM. We established a new location in Alliston, Ontario. And in 1992, we celebrated our 20th anniversary. We took over the importation of KD Child parts from Japan and were able to do that through the direct supply system. In 1993, we changed our name from Honda International Trading Corporation to Honda Trading America Corporation to reflect the shift in majority ownership from American Honda Motor to Honda Trading Corporation in Japan. At this point, it was clear that wherever HAM had operations and a supplier network, Honda Trading needed to have a presence too. So a couple of years later, we added aluminum to the RMSS and opened an office in Sao Paulo, Brazil. By 1997, on our 25th anniversary, we celebrated 84 employees and an annual consolidated sales number of nearly $1 billion. We added plastic and steel bar to the RMSS, and we established KD exports to 14 different countries. In 1998, the Mexico office located in Guadalajara opened for business, and we added steel tube to the RMSS. In the year 2000, we opened our offices in Timminsville, South Carolina to support Honda's production facilities there, including Honda power equipment. We also opened an Alabama office a year later to support our manufacturing partners and products in Alabama and Georgia. In 2003, we started recycling catalytic converters and exporting components to Mexico to support Honda service parts production. In 2005, HGA created the machinery and dye division and then added magnesium as a business line to the RMSS in 2006. 35 years in, in 2007, we saw $3.5 billion in sales, working with 300 associates. Towards the end of these years, tire-derived fuel exports began, and we opened an office in Indiana to support Honda Manufacturing of Indiana. Visually, we saw some changes too before this decade was out. In 2009, the logos from all regions were consolidated to strengthen the brand and unify companies globally. In the last eight years, we've established the Buenos Aires office and it celebrated 40 years of work. $4 billion in sales and more than 400 associates are driving what we do. The Platinum Group Metals Global Centralized Purchasing System was put into place. And in 2013, our offices in Celaya, Mexico, opened to support a new plant in the region. The year after, we completed the first of hundreds of intelligent shift and throttle conversions on Honda BF250 marine engines in South Carolina. 
And in 2016, Project Spark rolled out to help implementation of the new HTA ERP. It will incorporate all of our critical business operations and financials as well. We celebrated 45 years in business in 2017. Today, Honda Trading America is the largest subsidiary of Honda Trading Corporation with offices in five different states and across North America. And in every community that we operate, our employees invest time, talent, and treasure to give back. Today, HTA is a multi-billion dollar international supply chain management organization that provides vital services and unparalleled knowledge and experience to HTA customers in the global marketplace. And our eye is on the future. At the root and DNA of Honda, it's about that competition and innovating. Many of the innovations you might find in the new Accord or the new Odyssey come out of that that spirit of innovation that they discovered in motorcycle racing or auto racing or Honda Aerospace. For us to be successful by 2030, we must also change. We have to grow, we have to learn, we have to study the trends, and maybe more importantly, we have to be very intimately aware of what our customers need to provide new services for them. You know, Honda's philosophy, we want to be a company that society wants to exist.